The most important thing for people to understand about quantum science and technology is that it has the power to reshape the scientific landscape. Fundamental quantum research has already given birth to the laser, the transistor, integrated circuits, cornerstones of our current technology. To be honest, no one knows the full capabilities of quantum science and technology. We don't know which materials and methods will power quantum computers, networks, sensors, and devices. That uncertainty is a gigantic opportunity for basic research. Quantum research investigates the subatomic level. Think of electrons. And it all hinges on entanglement, this idea that the fate of a group of electrons is determined by how each electron works with the others. It all depends on collaboration. So does successful quantum science. UC Berkeley has been investing in basic quantum science for decades. And since then, we've built up a robust quantum ecosystem. More than a dozen of our institutes, groups, and colleges have been working together on every aspect of quantum science and technology. Our physics, chemistry, math, and computer science departments are some of the best in the nation. And with unique resources for interdisciplinary collaborations, like the Simons Institute, our environment for doing quantum science is simply unrivaled. Physicists, chemists, and engineers are looking into different materials that could yield ultra-low power, high-performance devices, potentially solving some of our energy problems. But despite the existence or the understanding of the basic principles of quantum computers, we still don't know what materials we need to make the best ones or to make the most efficient ones. That's what we're working on. The computer scientists and mathematicians are designing quantum algorithms, an area which Berkeley has been leading for over three decades now. New algorithms will allow future quantum computers to create impenetrable cybersecurity and also to enable unfathomably fast drug discovery. In labs across campus, engineers, chemists, and physicists are creating highly sensitive sensors to make foundational discoveries about our universe, like persistent mysteries about gravity and dark matter. Our faculty fellowships and startup accelerators will provide the space to develop this research into new technologies. And our students are going to create entirely new quantum fields that translate these technologies into real-world innovations. We have seen in the last few years a, a surge in the interest of students. Definitely a lot of excitement and interest from people across majors. We have so many great professors that work on this cutting edge, very interesting research. We have an opportunity to talk to them. So I think that's what attracts people to Berkeley initially. So we actually feel like a part of the ecosystem as undergraduates, which is really great. I think it's a technology that has the potential to be one of the most impactful or even the most impactful technology of my lifetime. I want to spend my career uh, advancing that because if we have useful quantum processors, we're able to impact other scientific disciplines as well. Institutes and governments all over the world recognize that now is the time to invest heavily in quantum research. The National Science Foundation has selected Berkeley to lead a five-year multi-institute national quantum computing effort. I think we are really poised to drive the second quantum revolution here in California. So it's inevitable that we'll need to have a workforce with quantum literacy. And that's what UC can provide. Berkeley's proposed quantum corridor would bring together new labs and facilities in an entangled state that will help us attract and retain the best students and faculty. The tech boom and all the research that supported it defined California in the 20th century. Quantum science and technology will be this century's next frontier.